were playing in a rock band. Some realize that dream, but they often pay a price. For instance, hearing loss. Being close to speakers like these, night after night, can permanently damage the delicate workings of the ear. Earplugs, highly recommended for both musicians and their audience. Lyle was one of the best rock musicians in the world, but due to hearing loss, he can't listen to the thing he loves most. And now to his story. It goes a little like this. My name's Lyle Norman. And I've owned Norman's Rare Guitars Music Emporium for the past 10 years. Never since I suffered a severe hearing loss after too many years of too much volume. Now, the store has become my only link to the music that once was my life. You okay? What's this? I didn't ask for strings. I asked for picks. Uh, uh I'm sorry. What did you want? How many times do I have to tell you I need picks, not strings? Could you say that again? <laughs> Just a little louder and... and, and so... Picks. 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 Well, not completely, but we aren't close. Just give me a second. If I could just tune these up a little higher... Me... Oh, I don't have time for this, man. I'm late for rehearsal. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Just, just write down what you want. I'll get it for you. My hearing was getting worse and worse. I'd seen specialists, but none could help. The business was going under, and I was in danger of losing everything. <laughs> you rock, Esther! Oh, man, you're the man! You're the man! Oh, crank it up, man! Let's see what this baby can really do! <laughs> What happened? You're way too loud, guys. <laughs> Even I could hear you. What are you talking about? You see, the thing is, ears are delicate little machines. They can mess them up real easy. Forever. If it ain't loud, it ain't rock and roll, old man. Well, I know rock and roll, kid. I sat in with all the greats. Hendrix, Cream, Big Brother. We played real loud, too. And my ears went. Oh. Well, it happens to a lot of guys. If you're not careful, the same thing could happen to you. You're full of it. I bet you never even met Hendrix. <laughs> Yo, I bet you're some deaf old loser. Yeah. Let me hold the axe, son. Okay, Dad. Be careful. You might hurt yourself. Uh-huh. Learned that from Jimmy when he played the whiskey back in 68. It was not that dope. Yo, Asa, you couldn't play that in your dreams, man. Shut up, Thrax. Come on, let's get out of this dump before we go deaf like Grant. <laughs> hey, maybe you ought to take up the drums. I didn't mean to humiliate the kid so badly. I just wanted to teach him a lesson. The old guy's got it coming. You saw what he did to me. He made me fall into the drum set. So I'm gonna blow out what's left of his ears, and you're helping me, so shut up. All right. I'm, I'm here, okay? All right.
think you'll ever hear! That's enough, that's enough. No! No, it's not! I'm gonna show that freak he can't mess with me! I think we killed him. Oh man. He ain't dead. He's just deaf! Ain't that right, old man? How's the music now? Is it loud enough? You don't have to yell. <laughs> I can hear you just fine. My hearing miraculously returned that night and I wasn't forced to close Norman's rare guitars. I've even started jamming with a band again. <laughs> you believe this story? How could damaged eardrums be repaired by high decibels? Was there an obstruction? plugging up Lyle's hearing that was loosened or even shattered by the vibrations of the music? If so, then why had no doctor ever discovered it before? Is it really a record of a similar story to this one taking place? Or is this one only hearsay?